All right, so we're on this 2003 Acura TL Type S. It's got the 3.2 uh, Hindu V6 in it. We're actually doing a tiny belt water pump on it, and we noticed it had a few oil leaks on the bottom. The front of the oil pan is real wet, and there's all kinds of oil dripping down on the oil filter itself. So what we're going to do, uh, there's already, I already have some videos online for the tiny belt and water pump. So if you're looking for that for a V6 Honda, an Acura, uh, go ahead and look those up under the Honda section of the channel, and you'll find those. On um, this video, we're going to do the oil filter ad adapter housing. Uh, it's pretty easy. There's a gas a rubber seal behind it, and it leaks. It gets hard and kind of uh, contracts and then lets oil go past. There's two electric connectors on it and three bolts. So I'll get you under there, and we'll start taking these off, and we'll show you uh, how to clean it up. All right, so uh, here's the oil filter adapter. Now, we had the front uh, little plastic cover off here because we're doing the timing belt anyway, but uh, it would probably be easier for you just to pop it off and set it down. It's just cover right here. Take the front wheel off. You can get to it from the top. Uh, you really can't get to it from the top if you're doing, if, unless you're doing a tiny belt and water pump. We got the engine mount and all that stuff removed on this, so it's easier for us to get it from the top. But you got three bolts. You have one here, one there, and then there's one on the back side here. And we either have one or two electrical connectors that we have to take off. So we're going to uh, take the two electrical connectors off, and then we'll start taking these three bolts out for the uh, adapter. All right, so you can see here we took the oil filter off already. It's off, and we're taking the three off from the top, or from the top. But more than likely, you have to come in from the bottom here and uh, use an extension and maybe a swivel to get to these. Got that one up there. He's getting. I think one of these bolts is longer than the other. I'm not. Yeah. So the top right one is longer than the other two. So you don't want to get those two mixed up, or three mixed up. Oh, in the oil pan. So we just dropped our electric ratchet in the oil pan, which reminds me, you might want to put an oil pan underneath here to catch all the oil. So, this guy. Anyway, once you get those three out, and like I said before, we have one that's longer, which is the top right uh, bolt. The other two are the same size. This should pull back. There's still an electrical connector on there. I'm going to pull this back, and then we'll take that connector off. Yeah, All right, so this is what you should have once they pull that apart. Here's the old gasket. It kind of fell out. It's real hard and brittle. This is actually supposed to be a rubber gasket, and it's uh, just falls apart when you... Uh, bend it or whatever so get something and clean this up use a little bit of brake clean or something and clean this up real good and a towel and then here's the actual adapter here the new gasket will clean this up the new gasket will pop in there you have uh, that's a new gasket with a screen you have two electric connectors one here that's on the bottom and then you have this one up towards the top it's oil pressure sensor I believe and uh, you pop those two out and then this, the three bolts, this comes out. So we're going to clean this up real good. We'll put the gasket in there and then reinstall after we clean the block up. All right, once you clean this housing up, go ahead and put your uh, seal in there and push down on it in the, inside the grooves here and make sure it holds. You should be able to flip it over and it should hold for you. And, uh, of course, we clean the block real good. You can see that there. Make sure that's nice and clean. No debris or anything. So now once you got the gasket in there and uh, in the grooves and everything seated, you can, you can go ahead and uh, hook this back up. Push it against the block. Remember that the long bolt goes in the top right hand corner and the two small ones go on the bottom and then the top left. So we'll go ahead and uh, put this back on and uh, I'll look up the torque spec for you and we'll uh, bolt it up. For the all right, so we got it mounted back up. It's 16 foot-pounds. Uh, it's torque spec for tightening those three bolts. Put your filter back on. Plug in your two electric connectors, and then don't forget to, uh, you know, change your oil or put your oil back in before you start the engine up. And that should eliminate most of your oil leaks up here in the front. Of course, you could have a camshaft seal or a crankshaft seal leaking. Always check that. Since we got this apart, uh, you know, there's nothing like that leaking on this, so we're all good. We got an oil drain plug leaking and then the oil filter adapter housing here is leaking so again that's 16 foot pounds pretty easy job the hardest part probably is going to be disconnecting your electrical connectors uh, 
especially on an older car. They get kind of uh, janky. They get kind of hard to disconnect sometimes on the older cars. So anyway, that's it. That's uh, changing out the seal on a V6 uh, Honda 3.2. It's pretty much the same pilot. Uh, pretty much all the Honda with the V6 is going to be very similar to this. And uh, that's it. Uh, we'll see you on the next one. Thanks for watching. As always, God bless.